Welcome to City Grown. My name is Rob Bohr. In this episode, we're going to do something completely different, a pecani steak, right? I've never done this. It's a whole piece of pecani meat here uh, from the cow. It's kind of a Brazilian cut. I don't know. Uh, but we're going to give it a try. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to sear it. I've got some salt and some seasoning on it. Uh, I'm going to sear it with the uh, meat side down right now. Uh, I'm just going to place it on the uh, grill just like so. I'll add a little bit more salt on the top here. I've got a little garlic pepper on there as well. You really want a lot of salt for this, but uh, not overdoing it. Of course, you can rub it around. I'm just gonna mix it around here just a little bit, just like so. We're gonna let that sear on here for about two to three minutes, all right? Okay, it's been three minutes. Let's check on the pecan steak. Wow, look at this. Uh, it smells really good out here already. I'm gonna hey, go ahead and flip it over. Put the fat side down. I want to watch out for flare-ups now because this is really hot, about 400 degrees, 450. Um, if it starts to flare up, I'll just move it over to the side. All right, it's been two minutes. I see some flare-ups happening here on this Lakani steak. So I'm going to move it off uh, from that hot sear. Bring it over on my cool side of the grill. Look at that. That looks beautiful. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, it's not burnt. It's just a nice crispy brown uh, of that fat. Um, this is off on this side of the grill. This is still on. Uh, I'm gonna turn off my sear burner itself and keep the temperature probably about 400 degrees, maybe 375. What I'm gonna do is then check this within 20 to 30 minutes and see that the inside temperature is about 130, 135 degrees to get a good medium rare. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. I've been cooking these uh, pecani steaks out here on the grill. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take a temperature check here. I want to get it to 135 ish uh, i'm at 124 so i might need another 10 more minutes uh, again this side's off this side's on but i've lowered the temperature of just a bit probably to 400 degrees uh, so i'll just go ahead and let this cook a little bit longer and then we'll pull them off all right i gave it a little extra time to get the steak up to about 135 degrees so i'm going to take a check here put the thermometer in wow 133 right there that's pretty darn good i'm going to go ahead and do it over here uh, 136, 135. Yeah, I'm gonna take these off the grill, let them go inside and rest. Um, I got a lot of company here. Brian, take a look at these. You know, are these good? Do you think this is good oh, enough? Oh, those, those look awesome, oh, Rob. I, I mean, I'm gonna, they're, they're puffing up, so I think they're right where they need to be. They look as good. As a pecani steak, right? We've never had it before, but nope. can't wait to try it out. Again, let it rest for 10 minutes and we'll slice it up inside and see what happens. Sounds great. And uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to City Grilling because I do and it's awesome. Thank All right, you. thanks. Brought the pecani steak inside or I don't know why they call them a steak really because yeah, steak would be a smaller piece. This is the whole pecani loin. I guess a loin would be better. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice this up and uh, I know this tail part's gonna be a bit more done but that's fine. Some folks here want it more done. As I cut into this, you're gonna have that nice piece of fat on there um, with the seasonings. That's gonna taste delicious. And as I get deeper into this meat, look at it. It's getting pink and more pink. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm gonna have to cut a piece off here. Uh, I'm gonna give it a try myself. That looks beautiful, just like that. Cut it off. Uh, take it off, I'm gonna give it a try. Mm, delicious. You're gonna love this recipe. Get it city grilling, just like Brian said. You're gonna love this, this is delicious.